Artifacts Bar. Today we're going to be showing you how to do the tent trim on a cockapoo. This is Ruben, he's one of our regulars. As you can see, he's been bathed, brushed and blow dried, getting his hair as straight as possibly can so that now we can start the styling. The prep work, in fact, is actually the most important part of the groom. Making sure you get that 100% will set you up for the rest of the groom. sanitary trim so that he doesn't get too messy when he gets home. Uh, now we're going to start on the actual styling of the tail trim on the body, we're going to move on to the legs, um, tail and then very last the head. When it comes to doing the tail trim, uh, this is a really popular choice here in the UK. Most people want to keep it nice and fluffy, nice round tubular legs. What's most important is that a comb like this must go through the whole coat. So the ears must be able to go through without any knots. And the same with all of the body and all of the legs. Because when we start using comb attachments on these coats, this, which is equivalent to a comb, has to go through the coat. As you can see here, the comb attachment is gliding straight through the coat, which is exactly as it should be after the prep work. just a little bit and we're going to do the other side and then come back to when we start to hand scissor these legs in. So that's both sides now body clipped. We're going to move on to hand scissoring all of the legs, uh, do the tail and then finish off with the head. You may have noticed um, that I had to stop a little bit on the chest because this boy wears a harness. Um, we had a few just very small tangles, which is all it takes uh, to stop these comb attachments from going through. If there is too much of this, it needs to be thinned out if it can't be brushed. Uh, it can't be thinned, then you have to clip underneath it. To have any sort of fluffy type steady, teddy style, you must be able to get a comb through. The owner of this maintains him really well. Uh, he brushes him every day. and. He's he visits every five to six weeks to have this length of groom. So now we're going to carry on and we're going to move on to these legs. When I'm grooming the dog's legs, I usually start from the foot and work the way up, making sure the foot is nice and rounded and then move on to the legs and blend it into the body. As you can see, it's really important to keep your workstation nice and clean so you can see exactly which hairs are attached to the dog and which ones still need trimming off. And there we are, we have one lovely leg and then we're going to move on to all of the others. So we've now got two legs on this side, nice and even. So I'm just going to weave around to the other side and come back to you when I've done them as well. There we are, so that's the body, legs, tail done. We're just going to now move on to the head as the final stage. As you can see here, Ruben is being really, really well behaved. He's taking it all in his stride. He's a little bit of a nervous boy, but he's perfect to groom. He stands there beautifully. As you can see here, he's sitting down nice and comfortable and taking it all in his stride.
And here is the finished pet teddy trim on a cockapoo. This is Reuben. Uh, we finished the face. Usually I would do it a little bit rounder, more of an Asian fusion style teddy. Uh, however, the owner seems to like this sort of shape on him and it's what he always had. Uh, we've got nice tubular even legs all the way round, all matching up. He's had a nice bit of angulation put in so that it really, really suits him. Nice short but maintainable tail, nice and short in the sandwich clip. Uh, so we had a few knots on the chest area here where he usually has, wears a harness when he goes out on walks. So that's always something to consider um, is whether you want this sort of area a little bit shorter, mainly underneath. We had a few knots in the paw pad, so between the toes, which we've managed to still round out and he's been very good with brushing that out. If this has been helpful, then please do hit the like and subscribe button. If you're a pet owner watching this, then the most important thing you can do is make sure that you can get a comb through the, the coat everywhere and you'll be able to achieve this sort of style.